the quilt wood. This comes from, as I said, the big leaf maple tree. It's got a lot of, of twisted and, and, and worsted, kind of a bubble, some people call it. And, and, and it looks very three-dimensional. In guitars, it has a very beautiful look. In fact, this is probably one of the most desired woods on guitars. And we dry it in a very special way so that it is very stable and very good for our guitars. Another wood is that comes out of the big leaf maple tree, and I love this wood. It's the hardest wood in the world to work, and a lot of people hate it because it's got... It's got densities that aren't always hard. Some of them are softer. Some of them are so hard they're like ebony. And others are, 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 are like I said, very soft. This is spalted flame maple. And it comes from the big leaf maple. And it's created by a mushroom growth that causes the black lines. In here you'll see a lot of black lines that run up and down the tree. That's actually a mushroom that creates that when the tree is starting to die after it's been on the ground for a certain length of time. So this is our spalted maple. Another wood that comes from the, the big leaf maple is fiddleback or flame maple. This is actually has lines, you notice, that run across this way in it. And these lines, all of this is pressure in the tree. I've actually cut trees that blew up in my face. It's amazing. With a chainsaw, you're cutting through a tree, and all of a sudden the tree just blows up in about three or four different directions. That's because there's so much stress in that tree that has created these over 50 to 100 years. Sometimes these trees are 150 years old. And... And, and, and it's tremendous pressure that makes that beautiful quilt look or this beautiful fiddleback look. But we, particularly at Bunker, have, have decided that we want to use our own wood because we've had problem with guitars separating, one piece of wood separating from the other. And this can be a real problem after several years in guitars. So we have eliminated that by, by using wood that's dried better. This is a spalded uh, guitar. You can see the beautiful black lines, the colors. Here's a pink. Here's a kind of a beige color with darker browns. This is all created by the, the, the mushrooms that have separated the wood and created uh, puddles uh, which, with what they call the inking in the guitar. But this, is a, this, of course, is a left-handed MVP Magnum guitar that you're looking at here. Uh, the MVP Magnum really shows the quilt pattern, which I showed you in this wood. This guitar shows how beautiful it can look in the back of the guitar. It, going clear around to the side of the guitar, here's a whole different look. You notice how the, there's never, this is like a fingerprint. You're never going to see the same guitar twice in some of this beautiful wood because it's, it's different character in each one. This is a more of a sausage type look. This is more of the puddled type look on the back. That's the MVP Magnum and that's how it looks in a guitar. The MVP Magnum is a very beautiful example of what the quilted maple can do to make a beautiful guitar.